my word, that ride was freaking epic. Um, it's, it rained all day yesterday, but it didn't ever really pour. It was just kind of a, a light drizzle the whole day. So none of the trails were rutted out from like rushing water. They were all just beautifully wet and tacky. It was just so, so good. Oh my gosh. Like we were flying. I was flying. On Strava, they do things called segments. And I got personal records on like nine of the segments. It was insane. And one of them, the very last run, it's uh, it's uh, all downhill with a couple of corners in it that goes back to the where, where we park. My best time before today was 45 seconds. And my time today was 40 seconds. I beat my best time by five seconds. Just insane. Such a good ride. We rode a new trail, a uh, new trail called Stinger that's out there. My dad had ridden it the opposite direction, uh, but so it was new for him today because it was the direction we rode, and I hadn't been on it at all. And it was, it, it was a little rough because it's a new trail, but oh my gosh, it was good. It was a lot of fun. But then, as I'm sure you saw from the video that I had posted before this thing, um, we saw wild horses. I came around the corner and they were right next to the trail and I startled them and they startled me and then we just hung around and looked and they, we were surrounded by them. There was one by itself over by a tree. Um, just really, really cool. And then there were a couple more kind of far off to the south and a couple far off to the north. It was just, it was really cool. And then on the way back down the trail, one of the little young ones was standing in the middle of the trail. So I was hollering out to get out of the way, but such a good ride. I mean, and, and it was overcast, so it was, it was just, God, everything about that ride was just so good today. I'm so glad I went. So, headed home, going to shower, change, get the boy off to youth camp, and then um, I'm headed up to do my second showing with that customer from mm, Tuesday night? Monday night. Monday night. And, exciting news, I have another showing with another, with a different client tomorrow morning in Cave Creek. We're gonna go look at a house up there, a resale house up there, and then we're gonna go check out some new builds. What's up everyone, it's Saturday morning, about 8, 10, I'm headed up to Cave Creek for a showing. That's two showings in two days with two different clients. I'm pretty friggin' stoked right now. Hope you all have a great Saturday. So that showing was fantastic, so good. Awesome, awesome people. It's gonna be fun working with them. So I'm done with my showing this morning. Now I'm out for a walk slash jog with my daughter. And I got some phone calls to make. And then we'll do something with her mom when she gets home from work. Because the boy's gone. Only child for the weekend. No. So those are a couple shots from uh, the trip Rachel and I took today to go pick up their kids, uh, our son Michael, and then four of their boys from youth camp and brought them back down to church where their parents came and got them. So it was a nice drive with my wife. And uh, so I just wanted to take a quick opportunity to update you guys on some of the goals that I've set out for this year and kind of how I'm doing with them. First thing is the vlog. Um, I've been struggling a little bit with doing the Monday, Wednesday, Friday posts just because sometimes I don't have much content because I'm still trying to balance out this whole like videotape everything's going on or videotape the highlights and sometimes what I do isn't very exciting and so I'm still trying to work that out and kind of get the right right feel for it so my vlogs feel feel right so anyway um, dates with my wife uh, I've been three weeks in and we've gone on three dates uh, one of them was to Costco so it wasn't terribly glamorous but it was a date, we spent time together, intentional time together, so that's going well. Real estate business-wise, I'm under contract, 
should be closing um, in March. So that's awesome. And then I have another buyer who looks like she's pretty close to buying like within the next week or two. And then I've got another one's a couple more weeks out and then another one that's like mid to late March. So things are starting to roll along. I'm starting to feel pretty, pretty good about kind of how things are progressing. So I'll keep you updated on that, but so far so good. And uh, SoulCon Challenge, we're starting the third week. That's been really good so far, push-up wise, which is kind of the one area I really wanted to see some, some marked growth has been going really well. Um, I've been doing sissy push-ups as we like to call them, but uh, I'm getting to the point where I can start doing some regular push-ups, not a lot, but my goal is by the end of this thing that I can do um, my, my test out, which is as many push-ups as I can in two minutes, Hopefully I'll be able to do that on my hands not, or on my feet, not my knees. So that's what the goal is there. One of my big fitness ones is training for the Cactus Cup, which is coming up in about a year and some change. And one of the things I'm doing is um, I'm doing I'm doing as many demo days as I can. To, so man, manufacturers will bring out their bikes and you can ride, test out their bikes. It's a free event. It's pretty awesome. I've done it with a couple different brands. Tomorrow I'm going out to do a Canyon. Um, bikes demo day and one of the reasons I'm doing it is because when I do ride the Cactus Cup next year I'm, I'm I'm strongly leaning toward renting a nice bike for the event um, my bike is a little rough it definitely is a hindrance toward my success but if if I can try out these demo bikes and find a brand that I like that feels similar to mine um, then I can kind of give myself a little bit, a few more tools to succeed at the Cactus Cup. So I'm trying out a bunch of different brands to find out kind of the one or two that I'd really like to try to use um, as my bike for the Cactus Cup. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'll probably dedicate most of Wednesday's vlog to riding those bikes and kind of showing you uh, what it's like and my, kind of my experience. So anyway, um, Hope you guys had a great uh, President's Day weekend, a little bit of an extended weekend for some of you, I'm sure. And uh, we'll see you guys again on Wednesday. Bye.